Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Now uh, we are going to discuss about a genuine problem, which you will certainly come across whenever you are trying to automate any application. Now Tosca or any other automation tool is uh, very efficient in automating or in uh, scanning the elements which are web-based applications, right? But uh, what about the desktop-based applications or um, within your application, you have some desktop elements uh, which you need to automate, right? So what do you do in these kind of scenarios or in your application, certain elements are not being identified by Tosca and you need to perform some action on those particular elements which are not showing up while scanning the application, right? So all of these issues are very common whenever you are working on an automation project, no matter what the application is or no matter which project you are working on. So on a scale of one to 10, you will always face these issues nine out of 10 times, okay? So you have to uh, be aware of all the possible solutions which are possible, um, especially in Tosca, okay? So you would know that uh, when Tosca is not able to identify some elements, then you have to create custom controls, but that is not always the first solution. So that option should be your last option because you don't want to end up um, writing code for your uh, custom controls, right? That would be a difficult option to choose. Rather, you use all the features of Tosca to try and solve this particular issue before moving on to a last option, which is creating a custom control by using the .NET libraries. So I'm going to show you a particular example of where Tosca is not able to identify certain elements, but there is a workaround. So let's see how we can move around this particular problem. So I have opened up uh, my device manager, okay? So this is present uh, in your control panel. So as you can see, uh, this is a Windows, window-based control, right? So this is part of uh, the Microsoft Windows and uh, everything inside this is window based. So it's not a web based interface, okay? So here, um, if I go into monitors and generic PNP monitor, I go into properties, okay? So it opens up a new window here. You can see this window. And then um, if I go into details tab, okay? There is um, the property and then value. Okay, and in the property is a drop down, right? Now, um, what if my automation task is to uh, verify all the values which are present in this drop down? Okay, and I have to do this using Tosca. So let's see whether Tosca is able to identify all the elements on this particular window based control, right? Now, remember that uh, Tosca supports most of the technologies, including the desktop-based application. So it should be able to identify these elements, okay? But let's see whether it is able to actually do that. So I will go to modules. I will go and do the scan application. Okay, so I can see both the windows here, uh, the device manager as well as the generic PNP monitor. Now, um, in some cases, if you're not able to scan uh, that particular application, if no element is showing up when you scan this particular window, then you can fall back up on other options, okay? So right click uh, on, on here, you can see when X is selected, which means it is a window-based control. Um, and then you have other options like Vision AI and then UIA, okay? So these two options are still there uh, if you are not able to scan with the default option, which is the WinX option, okay? But for now, we will go with the WinX option. So I'm going to scan this particular application and now you can see it is showing up some elements, okay? But let's see if uh, it is able to scan the elements which I require, okay? So now I can see a label, uh, a generic PNP monitor, 
property combo box value list okay cancel tab control so it is showing up most of the elements but i need the drop down elements inside this because i need to verify them okay so i can see the property and the combo box right but i'm not able to see the elements inside the combo box um so my next action would be to increase the filtered items and try to see if it is showing up any particular uh, combo box items here, okay? And as you can see, so th th this is the details tab and currently it is not showing me any elements under the combo box, okay? So it is showing up some other elements in some other tabs, but not in this particular tab, okay? And this is a problem now because uh, my job is to verify uh, the properties which are displayed here, right? And uh, I cannot do it directly uh, after scanning this particular control. So uh, let's go ahead and let's select the combo box. Okay, so it is unique. Uh, we can go ahead with the properties which can uh, identify this combo box, okay? So what we will do is now we will go ahead and save this module. And now we will go back to our module. Okay, so this is the module. Okay, and then we have the combo box here, right? Now, in order to get the elements which are inside the combo box. Okay, so if we look at this application, there are lots of properties which are present, right? And since these are not being displayed currently in the scan engine, what we can do is we can add a generic element. So what we are going to do is uh, in the combo box, right? We will right click and then uh, we will go to this three ellipses and there you will find create generic list item, okay? So this is a generic type which can be added for a combo box uh, it is a list item type okay so it will identify any list items which are present once we create this generic list item or once we add this particular property which is the create generic list item okay so once we add this now you will see that it is added in the combo box and it is a item right now Interestingly, if you go to the properties of this item, uh, you can see the engine is when X, right? But uh, the explicit name actually contains all the different items which we are looking for, okay? So as you can see, it has got all the properties which are present in my application, okay? So I can actually select any particular item using this explicit name, okay? So now what I will do is we will add a test case folder here and we will call it win controls, okay? And then we will add a test case here. We'll say verify driver properties and then we will add the module right here, okay? Now, as you can see, uh, it has got a combo box and it has also got a list item, which is a generic type, okay? Um, and we have added this um, manually. Uh, it was not added by Tosca. So now um, I can actually select any particular item using the explicit names. You can see all the item names are present here, which you want to verify, okay? So uh, I want to verify the device description so the combo box action mode will change to select here. The device description is still input. I will uh, make it verify. And then I will say exist equals equals true. Okay. Similarly, I can verify some more um, capabilities, right? And then status. Okay, so these three I want to verify. I will put verify here and same, I will do exist equals equals true. Now, 
Now, an interesting thing to note here is uh, you will see that um, as we keep on adding the items, still uh, the item will get created here. And that is because of the cardinality, which is set to zero to N, okay? So now we have done some verifications. Let's go ahead and let's execute this test case and let's see if it is able to verify or not, okay? So um, as you can see, it maximized this particular window, right? Um, and if I go back to Tosca, let me make this into a normal window. And then if I look at the log info, you can see the verification was successful for all the three items in the combo box, okay? So this is how you can add generic list item to your combo box, even if these items are not scanned in the first instance by Tosca and you cannot see them in the module, you can still add it as a module attribute. And once you add this generic list item as a module attribute, then you'll be able to see all the items uh, which are present in your application and then you can perform all the verifications or validations which you want to perform on this list items, okay? So this is one example of how you can get around these problems when Tosca is not able to scan all the elements on your application or you're working with Windows-based controls. So similarly, you can work around some generic items which are already present uh, when you go into your module properties, but uh, it is not the case with all the controls, okay? In some cases, Tosca has not provided these generic items and you need to create custom controls if these generic items are not already present and you cannot add them using uh, the properties of a particular element, right? So uh, in those cases, you have to uh, fall back upon your last option, which is creating a custom control. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.